Hey everybody, Phil Strazula from Next Wave Hire back with another Whiteboard Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about talent communities and specifically the ROI calculation around talent communities. I think a lot of people are thinking about CRM, etc. and either wondering how do I justify this to my boss or hey we've been doing this for a year, how do I think about the value that I've gotten out of the investment that I've put in. Um, so really quick for the uninitiated talent community is basically um, when a candidate gets to your career site and they're like, hey, cool company, but I'm not ready to apply. I'm not gonna go in the ATS. I'm gonna leave my name, my email, et cetera. And I'm basically gonna opt into this database, this talent community database, um, CRM, whatever you wanna call it. So the really easy way to think about the ROIs in terms of recruiter fees, let's say I've got in this database a bunch of engineers and directors and, and whatever, and I actually make some hires out of here because I'm doing a good job about nurturing, about pro being proactive. Um, okay, each one of those hires, I'm saving a recruiter fee, add all those up relative to what I'm actually spending on the talent community, there's your ROI. The other more complicated way to think about ROI is a little bit of a math equation here. I'm gonna walk through this really slowly. Hopefully this makes sense. So let's say you're a company um, that your cost per hire is 5K. That's the average cost per hire in the US, more, more or less. So this is what you're spending on LinkedIn, Glassdoor, recruiters, all that stuff that goes into your cost per hire. So $5,000 for every person you hire. So let's look at your hiring funnel here, applications interview hire. Um, so for every one person that you hire in this example, you are interviewing 10 people. And for every 10 people that you interview, you're getting 100 applications. So it's basically 100 people apply, 10% get interviews, 10% get hired. Okay, so let's translate this now into dollars. So $5,000 per hire. So each hire is worth $5,000 to me. $5,000 per hire and 10 interviews get me a hire. So each interview is worth $500 for me. You, using the same logic, each application is worth 50 bucks to me. Theoretically, I should be willing to pay 50 bucks per applicant because I know when I get 100 of those, it's gonna translate into a hire. Okay, let's table this number. Let's remember 50 bucks, but we're gonna table it for two seconds. Okay, let's think about your career site now. Let's say hypothetically you get 1,000 visitors per month. If you're doing a good job, you get about a 3% conversion rate into your talent community. So for every thousand people that go to your career site, 3% of those people are like, hey, this is cool. I'm not ready to apply in the ATS. I'm gonna be part of the talent community. So a thousand times 3% is 30 people per month in our talent community. Okay, so let's think about what's the value of these 30 people. We're gonna use this $50 number that we got for the application. So the cost per application and the cost per talent community member are pretty analogous. <clears throat> the quality is probably gonna be higher with the talent community person because they're being more thoughtful about their career. However, it's gonna take them longer to convert down this funnel than an application because they're, they don't have as high intent. And so we're just gonna kind of net those two factors out and pretend that they're worth 50 bucks. So again, 1,000 visitors times 3%, 30 people per month, 30 times 50, 1500 bucks per month in value that we're driving through our talent community. If you've got 10,000 visitors to your career site, this becomes 15,000. If your hiring funnel is different here, your cost per application might be $30, it might be $100, and this obviously would change this equation as well. So hopefully this gives you a good framework for how to think about this value calculation and you can take these numbers and plug in the numbers that actually relate to your business. Again, Phil Strzula from Next Wave Hire. Thanks a lot for checking out Whiteboard Wednesday and uh, leave a comment if you have a question.